to peg a party. Gotta get into this next round and figure out, uh, yeah, who's gonna, who's gonna go there? Who's gonna take that side? So, uh, for those, uh, newer-ish to maybe Counter-Strike, of course, they're just gonna be going through this. Actually, I don't believe they're oh. actually, I think they're actually going right into it. This is seated, so they're just hopping right in. We have a, it looks like a, uh, We'll smoke strat, mm -hmm. summon plan, plan, and see how we go. Here we go, Here we go. Our fight. Fight. Down quick, and the two people are going to go down for epics right away. It's going to be a two for one on that exchange over here. McCoy's going to try to look at the smoke, try to find someone over here. Yeah, he's still there, he's going to get some damage. The bomb has now been planted. He's running over here to see what McCoy is trying to do. He's getting some fire, going down to 80 health. Pablo's trying to get him some there, get able to pick up that kill. Nice little headshot by Pablo. Now, four versus two. Here, see if Theta's able to avoid taking some damage over on the other side. Theta's trying to put something in here. Theta's now the last member standing. You take it out and pick a party. Take this all around. Yeah. Smart, smart plant and post, smart, like an immediate post plant by Papega. Mm -hmm. He's going to go, we're going to smoke it. We're going to plant We're going to go straight and we're going to push all of us into CT spawn. We're going to hold from CT, make it easy. They can, they can easily overwhelm with numbers if they need to. Yeah. So if we get that one there, we're going to get some there. We've got Pierre over there with the AK. The lone man with the rifle. He's going to continue on to here. See if the Pega Party is going to push on here right now. See, he's going through the middle of the map. Some players have now. Chev's taking a couple of bit of damage. Patty's taking some damage as well. Chev's trying to create a back row the other way. Patty's down to 37 already. Theta is going to take a little bit of damage too. He's going to go down to 37. Oh, and Jared's going to be able to get a nice little headshot there. A couple kills go back to both sides. It's now two for two. Going on in this exchange, another kill is going to go on in there, so it's two versus three left. Bite, of course, down to 10 health. There you go, they're meeting in the middle over here. You're going to take him out, probably going to be able to pick up a nice kill there. Charles, you see if he's going to be able to answer this. He's going to peek around this corner. He's going to take out one, but not the other. It's now a 1v1 situation. Bite, though, he's got 10 health left. Running on over. 10 health, a Mac 10 in a dream. Yeah, here we go. He's gonna try to live that dream. He will not, though, as Pavus take that one and Pavega Party takes round two. And that's it. We've, been, we've, we've seen this a lot this mm -hmm. week. That, that aggression down the middle on their save round, just trying to catch people off guard. Um, and that's, you know, just that mentality of let's get this round over with as much as we, as fast as we can. But mm -hmm. at the same point, they, they picked up a lot of kills. They did a lot of yeah. damage in the economy. And you can see now they, they're on full rifles. They didn't buy anything going into that round. So it was mm -hmm. really good for them um, economically. Yeah, good job on Epics to be able to take that and be able to make it somewhere. Both sides now pretty much have a bunch of rifles going on. So a uh, bit of a standard setup over here for both teams. Theta's gonna be able to pick up here over on Pierre. We see each other. Some players have to on the other side of the map, it sounds like. Both teams not willing to aggress quite yet. Just trying to find a pick here. Looks like they're waiting on it. And here comes the smoke for smoke for window. Laying down the smoke there. Get out here trying to make happen. Be able to get that out. Nice little headshot by Patty. Go the first kill round. Charles is gonna go down as well. Who's now looking over inside, smoking it out. McCoy waiting patiently. Didn't quite see him yet. He's waiting for their kills. So this happened over on their side. Here go McCoy's gonna be able to go one. Just pick up a second one there. So now it's a two versus three. So Epix is looking to try to take this round. The only one left now is Paul Yates. He's gonna be taking low, but he's gonna pick up another kill for himself. So he's gonna call off the clutch. And they're gonna get it. Epix takes their first round. Now we see pretty low, so now we've broken the economy again. They're gonna, they're gonna have to have to save on this. I would expect maybe pistols, but probably not. They're probably just gonna push something heavy. But this allows uh, the, the rebuy to only just be you know uh, an SMG. I mean, they can save to a little bit into this uh, into this round a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So good job, Epics, to get that back there. I'm expecting them to take this round as Pega's just coming in there with nothing. But. Just like Epics did the other time, if they can hurt the economy a little bit, that would be pretty impressive. They are heading towards the B site, and Blight will see them all here shortly. Let's see if we get caught up here. He's hiding right in that corner. He one. Oh, he gets taken down. Nice shot there. One tap. Pabu now is going to go down low. He's going to be taking out Pierre. He's going to be taking down as well. Theta, you're going to double kill. Bomb is planted. They're making way over there. Paul's going to go down. They're trying to find a retake over here. Charles goes down as well, but as I take another kill. 
Patty is the only member left of the Vega party. See if he can hold it down as long as he will not be able to. But they did pick up a couple kills. They're going to get this. Two kills, two kills and a bomb plant. Good, uh, I mean, worth it, right? Yeah, right. you'll take it. You'll 100% yeah. take it, yeah. and that's true. All right. AK is all around for Pathega Party. He's probably spent some money over on the other side to get back in there. This could be a good round here. See if they go for another aggressive one into that misplay. Yeah. One up towards the middle of the map. There we go. Okay, some damage to Kevin. going to go down first in the fight. Here he'll do that. He'll pay up because of a second kill. Now, the Koi's will be able to get the wall bang in there. Four members left for the Vega Party. Kai can do this push. And right there, Theta picks up a nice little headshot. Three versus three now. Patty was just on the run and gun, like, I don't care. <laughs> Alright, now we're the B site. Theta picks up another kill there. Two members left for the Pago Party as they click their way into the site. So now they can hear a Pablo looking to find the thing there. He's going to be able to get that one. Nice little shot there. Two versus two situation here now. Molotov goes down. Bomb planted. See if McCoy's gonna be able to pick up a nice kill here. He can. Picks that one up. Only Polly left here to defend this bomb. He's gonna be taken out by Charles, and that's gonna be a nice little defuse and a good little round for Epic. So, once again. Well, it's time. Walk around, make sure you get you get the weapons you want before you beat the bomb. You wanna swap out. Alright, so we've seen some interesting stuff so far. Uh, early, early on, we saw some aggressive play, but now uh, everyone's kind of settled into. Uh, a few more defaults just kind of going in a little more steadier. Yeah. We're seeing now Epic's just, you know, with a 3-2 round lead, doing another eco round for Pathega Party, though. I'm going to see if these Deagles can do some work. We have seen uh, over the weekend here so far um, them do a little bit of work with those Deagles, mm -hmm. a couple of 1Ds. We've already seen, uh, I think it was Pablo pick one up earlier, so a great use of that grenade um, into, into, uh, into window where McCoy's been playing a lot. Yeah, McCoy there with the off taking a little bit of damage. Data now surveying over this middle part of the map. The Vega party leaning more towards the A site, but they have not brought the bomb with them quite yet. Trying to see if they can get a pick on before they go in harder. Again, play a little more conservatively in this round. They are ones with deagles. Yeah. They're going to try to find that shooter's chance, right? They're just going to get that. Yeah. Jeb. Jeff picking up that one onto Pierre. Taking a little bit for it. Nice little grenade there. McCoy's gonna throw down the incendiary. Try to cut that off. I'm gonna try and push back a little bit. Pablo trying to do some work. Gets the wall bang over on Cheb. Four versus four now. Another kill going over to Charles. Over on the other side. Patty's gonna go down. Charles is going popping off over there on the other side of the map. As we look at Pablo over here trying to make something happen, does get that one head shot, but that won't be enough. And a very, very nice round for Charles. And that was it was good by Pablo too, getting getting those two kills with that oh, eagle, yeah. um, being patient. Uh, he and I think he probably almost got that. Uh, he was super close on that long range eagle shot too. Mm -hmm. So if he gets that a little earlier, maybe he changes the changes the course of that round. You never know. Yeah. And we got a double op setup, uh, and that's something that uh, Papega did. Last night too, double op setup on the T on the T side. Mm -hmm. It's not something you normally see. Yeah, I like it sometimes. You get over there again. You just get a couple picks, and then just the rest of the map just feels free from yeah. there. So clearly, what they're trying to go for here. You get that shot, Pierre is going to be able to pick up that one. That's what I said. Get a pick. Now you have a big number advantage. Take a party now, losing a couple rounds in a row. Want to be able to take this one. Before they are heading towards the A site. Now over the stairs. Jeb picking up the op over there. Jeb gets one. So for a second, smokes are going down. Patty built a bit of a kill over on the other side. More fights going on. Jeb sitting there in the smoke. They'll be able to pick up one more kill with that op. Three versus three now. To the A site, Pierre surveying. He's gonna be able to pick up a second. Looking for that last target. He's gonna pick up a third. Huge round for Polly. 
Unless we're going to say single-handed on that one. Almost. Super yeah, super good spray control into CT. Takes up those two kills. And then peeks for stairs. You know, they know Chubb's there. So he's going he's gonna to take his, take his time to make sure he peeks smart. And mm -hmm. he takes that shot. So and that's, that's a big round for Polly, who was a little bit struggling uh, a little bit before that round. Now sitting at five kills to match his five deaths. But yeah, he would have been two and five just before that. So brings himself to within even. And now might, uh, might be enough to get him going in this map. Over towards the B site, Data looking over here. They're now on the side with them, just driving the Eagles. Blight's gonna take down a bunch of damage. Go down to two health. Next gets taken out. Pavo is gonna also be taken out over the other side. Now 4v4 situation. Polly's gonna be able to play another kill. 4v3 now. Bomb starting to be planted. Data trying to get this kill with the Eagle. Gets him down to 9. Yeah, they're flashing me up. Their way out of that Paul, Pierre and Pablo pick up a couple kills. Oh, all these P names <laughs> getting her done. Paulio is gonna pick up that one. Paulio again. Like I said, maybe he just needed those couple yep. kills in that last round. And he's starting to really feel it now. Yeah, I mean, just we need to wake up a little bit. I mean, yeah. it's fairly early. In it the is game. early for all of us. Yeah. I am even sounding less hyped than normal because <laughs> I'm like, it's early. I'm tired. But get warmed up, get going. It's now 4-4. Four, four. High game. Both leaves making an aggressive play towards the A site here. Gonna run into the smoke, trying to get one kill. Hobbles will get the one. Charles gets the one on the other side. Let's see if they keep trying to keep going. Charles picks up another kill. We a man on the off. Get it, you're done. Picks up a triple, but Pablo's gonna answer it right back. Only Pablo and Pierre are left alive over on the T side. Pierre's gonna be able to pick up another kill, so it's a 2v2 situation, but Pablo's down to 5 health. Another beautiful shot by Pierre. He's going to pick up that one. Theta is the last man standing. Let's see if he can get this one going. Pierre's got that angle. He's going to he's gonna peek right into it. Try peek for him. Yeah, that's a Pierre. That didn't even seem to have been firing back. Yeah, maybe it was going right over at the time. Backing up there. The bomb has been planted. Theta trying to get in here. See if he can pull off the clutch. A dream moment you always want to do in a land. Pulling off the clutch. 1v2. He's going to pick up one. Only needs to pick up the other one. They're helped. Totals are both the same. Here does have the up though. Doesn't care what your life total is. You gotta pick up that kill. Doesn't care if there's a stairwell in the way either. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That gun does damage. Eleven kills now so far for Pierre. As Peppa, Pepega party, the alliterations. Yeah. It, it, it's brilliant, but it is difficult. Yeah. You made my job harder. Um, <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? Um, now nah, I'm just kidding around. I do like the names. And yeah, they're probably able to pick up that into the lead in this one. We do have another Deagle save round. I want to see if we get a stack. Excuse me, Charles is going to be able to pick up another kill. Matt popped off last round, but he is eventually taken down by Patty. Chab's going to be able to pick up one more. Patty's going to go down. 3v2 now in favor of Epix. Throwing up the grenades, taking some damages, Pierre. Trying to make it McCoy with the deagle. Gonna pick up a couple kills. And a nice win for Epix to take that round. Basically, with just a couple deagles and nothing else. Yeah. Deagles in a dream. And Pega just kind of walked into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a heartbreaker for Pega that did so much work to kind of like get back into this map. Like, yeah, yeah they were only down a couple rounds, but. But after like basically losing to an eco, you're just like, oh, okay, all right, let's focus up, team. <laughs> yeah. Now we kind of have a half by here on the Pega side. A little bit of utility, one deagle, four AKs. Oh, Patty taking out quick early on this round, but Polly's gonna answer that one right away with a nice little headshot with his AK there. So four v four again. Both teams waiting a little patiently over here in this round. No rushes anywhere. I'm gonna slow it down. See if they can manage to get a pick. See if they can get an entry somewhere. We are four. We are four four. So we need to make sure that we don't die unnecessarily. You know, pushing into pushing into a site or dry peeking something without somebody to trade. Flash is going down. Trying to get someone out. Someone caught. It was a couple of rounds of heavy action. Both teams are electing to calm it down a little bit on this one. Rifles over on both sides of the map. So it should be relatively even here. Using some of the Pop's gonna smoke over there. Looks like a smoke for smoke to fake. See if they can draw some draw some attention. Might a little early. 
almost made that shot there as he was jumping. That was rather impressive. Double now. Trying to make sure if those edge here. Blight's gonna be able to pick up a couple kills over on the other side there. Now things are gonna try to go in, but Pierre and Pablo are gonna answer back with a couple kills of their own. 2v2 now. As they're planting over here onto the B site. Let's see if Chet and Charles are gonna be able to make this retake. Utility going down. Here, trying to sneak his way up. Smart movement. Charles got to going through. Chad's going to be able to pick up a kill here. But here comes Pablo. He's going to answer that right back. 1v1 situation now. Both of them at roughly even health. Chad against the smoke is not enough cover, so he's going to take him out and now defuse the bomb. His feet were visible on the edge of that one way. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, it's a one way for one. I'm getting the good old HP check just out of curiosity. Did I almost have you? Eh, 40, not really. Not really. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's, one, it's one shot from an AK. Yeah, that's fair. It's fair. Know. One good shot. But 6-5 now in favor of Epix. It, they've been trading leads as we've gone into that. This is a good, good couple of teams to kind of come into. Nice close close counter strike going on over here. Get myself worn up for a full day. That's right. Excited. We're going into round 12 here. See if the Vega party is going to be able to do anything there. A little bit of the eco here again. And a little bit of usage of utility just to try and hold up any kind of rush. You see another, another nade. Good nade. Yeah, good nade. Almost a long time ago. Nice shot by Pabu to pick up that headshot. And now they're going to go over into the site. Light Howard is going to be right there to answer. He's going to be able to pick up that kill. And they're jumping up their paddy right there. Available for him. Blight's going to be able to pick up another one. Looking for the third. He gets the third. Two members left. He does get eventually taken out by Polly. Nice shot by Polly to be able to pick that up. 2v3 situation now in favor of Epix. But let's see if they can keep it up here. Polly does. Picks up another kill. 2v2 now. Looking over to get it on the other side. Polly is going to get another one. Cheb is the last man standing for Epix. He's just trying to defend this all. He's going to go. The plant's going to be able to happen. Polly's going to put it down. Here comes the kill as Polly with the 4k on the round. That was a nice one. That's that's some that's some sweet deagle right there. Yeah. Maybe he shouldn't switch weapons. Yeah, just maybe stick, just, just stay on the deagle. Deagles. Just stay on the deagle and just wreck <laughs> just wreck people from, some, from across the map. Some people could do that. Some people have always like like you see that a lot at LAN actually, where it's just sometimes just like the AK, the the M4, they're just not working, but when you get to that deagle round, you're like, oh, just pop it off on this anyway. Who cares? Yeah. It almost feels like you should stick with it, but I'm gonna love that. I'm gonna love that. Super Super uh, ping on online causing the happiness of, of those yeah, amazing true. deagle shots. It's true. It, everything feels just that little bit more crisp. And you're just like, oh, yeah, wow. It's like feels so possible. <laughs> yeah. So Charles holding a cheeky angle, see if he can catch a rush. But mm -hmm. Papega taking their time. They're going to they're gonna really wait for any kind of uh, push aggression. They have had that happen to them now twice this tournament. Mm -hmm. So they're uh, they're going to wait and see, make sure that they, didn't, they don't get any, any kind of Early pushes. Looks like here comes here comes an execute. A couple smokes. Yep. Laying them down there. Pierre wanting to get his way in. Chess to be able to find one target, but it's to be answered back right away by Pavu. 4v4 now. Charles here sees Polly. He's able to take him out. 4v3 now in favor of Epix. They continue to move forward. Pierre is going to now push in here. He's going to find the boy. Get the headshot down. Gonna look around to the left side, trying to pick up that kill, but it's gonna be answered by Charles. 3v2 now. Pablo can take a bunch of damage over here. Charles is able to clean that one up as he can pick up six kills around. Charles will go down, so does Pablo. Theta is gonna be able to pick up that one. And then the round for Epics. Yeah, they're just trading, they're just trading save rounds. Yeah. It's just it's insane. Just All right, everybody stop buying rifles. Let's <laughs> do this. Pistol versus pistol, let's see how it runs. That's a dream for me, because I'm always a player that just always had good pistol rounds. I'm like, if you want to agree to this, <laughs> <laughs> I would be down. <laughs> here we go now. See if they go for an aggressive push here up the middle. Good use of the, good use of the nade. Just trying to trying to hold that angle. Go for coil over here. Dog, pick up one kill. Takes up Polly on his deagle. Trying to fight how we're having the other side. But the he's going to do by himself. He's not going to do much. Pierre's going to take him out, but... It's now 4v4. Get that one kill here. Let's see if Pablo runs into Cheb over here in the situation. Cheb right about does see a little bit. That grenade's gonna do some decent amount of damage. And the smoke will the smoke will back him off and now now Pablo has an hit and off. And see how they can see how they can work there. Pablo sitting chair, just waiting to see if somebody decides they're gonna peek him. 
into that spot we have seen Pablo take there that. Charles. Charles deals with one, pick up the second kill. Good play by Charles. We see him kind of going in streaks of kills and be able to pull that one off. Chab getting a nice little shot. Pavel, the last member left of the Vega party, trying to make something happen. He will not. Only McCoy goes down and a nice win for Epics. That's our first uh, two rounds in a row in a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's been I mean, back and forth, I think, since 5 5. So. Exactly. So we'll jump into round 15 here. Epics has a slight advantage. They probably want to try to take this last round here before we head to that. Yeah. Be good if it, we, they'd like to. I think they'd probably like to end this nine six if they can. Mm -hmm. um, give themselves a, a little bit more of an advantage going into second half, especially with how back and forth everything is going to get. It feels like getting a three point lead would be a huge advantage just because of how close everything's been yeah. so far. A couple defaults. No one looking for any aggression so far. And towards the A site now. We'll take a party to see Charles and Co. can defend this one here. Charles moving out, and there's a fight right there. Charles can kill the first kill. Pablo picks up another one down there, and Pablo's gonna pick up a kill as well. Only three members left of Epics. They're now gonna push into this A site. Pierre trying to get a last little kick there before they find the spawn. Great, great flash. Take McCoy off of us. Zeta. Spawn. Zeta's gonna get one. Step back right away on McCoy. Pauly's gonna pick up a couple kills for himself. Light, the last person left. He's gonna be able to pick a one. We are now in a 1v1 situation here. See if they want to get to this 9 6. Pick a party. Would love to go take this round and make it basically even going into the half. Pierre, though. And Pierre with the next level plays. Sneaky, sneaky. Gonna walk over to the other side. Light though, kind of sniffing it out, going, he probably went the other way. I'm coming over here, so they're going to see each other shortly. Mono, a mono. Let's see what they'll do here. The bomb's about to be planted. Puts up the signal. Light says, come at me, bro. Let's do this. Huge round, potentially, over here. This would be a nice lead for Epics if they can pull this one off. But Pierre, if he has anything to say about it, he's going to keep it. Pierre Light. moving for half wall. And just, oh, oh just doesn't see him. Oh, oh, but only needs one shot to pull that one off. Gonna basically them get that online, them online inbox right them there. Online <laughs> inbox. What a beauty there. Eight seven is the advantage right now for Epic's in the half. And uh, uh, yeah, good half indeed. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good solid. Uh, lots of lots of save round ones. Mm -hmm. Lots yeah. of them with pistols doing work. Um, we'll see if maybe one of them can grab a hold of, uh, grab mo more of a foothold going into this next round. If maybe uh, if the pick is made him a little bit more comfortable on mm -hmm. the CT side, um, mm -hmm. holding. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, what one thing to be noted is that it seemed like for a little while it seemed like oh is this gonna be like just Pablo or Pierre carrying mm -hmm. over for bigger party, but then Pauly joined in yeah. there getting 14 kills of his own again. Yeah. Had a little bit of a slower start. Ended up having four MVPs on the map, but Charles and over on the other side, his 16 kills leads his team. Yeah. Uh, and Charles really did a lot of work with Ops and did a lot of work in that game. So it's it's, it's a close one, and uh, we'll see what goes on as they switch sides. We're hopping back into the second half here. Oh. And a lot of utility on the side of Epics. Um, armor and a whole bunch of grenades being purchased. Just armor and a deep kit here mm -hmm. on the side of, uh, on the side of the Pega so they're just gonna do their best to try and if they did get a plant get that bomb defused mm -hmm. yeah. two right. smoke and flash execute missed his flash there we go moving on to the A site now nice kill by Pablo to pick up that headshot excuse me I suddenly have pickups but here comes Charles got to take that one there 4v4 now to give up Pablo's gonna be able to pick up another kill onto Charles Two members left, or sorry, three members left of Epic. There, McCoy. Although McCoy is trying to make something happen over there. Really, take just surviving and running away at this point. Gonna get that, but he actually gets a kill before he goes down to Polly. Chad is gonna go down as well. So Theta is the last man. Then trying to defend his body. He's got the one, but not the other. So pistol round goes to Pega Party as they even up the score. Sitting behind Firebox, they were gonna, they were always gonna check that. Mm -hmm. It would have been nice if they considered a little, little cheeky kill or something like that. But, but yeah, good, good, fast uh, execute 
uh, by Epix to get that bomb down. Now they are going to have a, com a full full money going into uh, going into round three here. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised that they're buying as much as they are. Yeah. I was expecting maybe a couple of pistols, but and then having uh, a you know, full uh, full money purchase in round three. Mm -hmm. See if the aggressiveness pays off. Right now it's getting some damage over in the middle side. Let's do it on 31. Going back up from there. Pushing in through the middle. This epic pushing in rather aggressively. Trying to make go on now. Probably gonna pick up the first kill here. Chad's gonna answer it right back. Four to four now. Pablo's gonna pick up another one. Three members left of Epics. They went for their aggressive play, and it's answered pretty well by Pago so far. Looks like they'll take taking that one kill that they got so far. Oh, missed shot there by Pierre. Now we're going to see if they can pick someone off as we go in here. Data? Maybe even around. Nice headshot! Being able to pick up that one. 3v3, and of course, Epix is a team that did lose the pistol round, so they are happy to be a little bit ahead on that advantage. Pablo's going to be able to pick up to get that kill, though. Nice damage put down by Pablo over here. That kill, picks up another one. Two kills done by Epix over there. Not, uh, not often you see somebody patiently patiently tapping away on the yeah. MP9. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, usually run and roll, rush in and there and make it happen. But yeah. a little tap 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 a room. Mm -hmm. Win them, win themselves, uh, win themselves around with that patient, patient play by Patty. All right, now we're gonna see what Epic City will do with some AKs in their hands, some SMGs over on the other side. They did force buy a little bit on the other side over here. McCoy and friends are now coming over here to lay down the smoke. Get in through this B site. Chad's always looking good, but damage here. They're going down. Pierre's going to go for the first kill. McCoy's going to be able to have to go out of the other side. and Light will go back and forth with kills of their own, now sitting at a 3v3. Surveying Light's over. pretty hurt. He's kind of sitting in the corner. They know that they know that he's been hurt by someone. Um, there was that firefight exchange. Patty's just waiting. Waiting here to see. Oh! Not waiting patiently enough, however. Right. Blade picks up that one. Nice little headshot. Two members left. Let's pick a party as Epix continues to plant over onto B. See if Pavu and Polly get a pull off the retake here. Let's head over there with the AUG. AUG, rather? Yeah. All right. If, if I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think uh, Pavu's gonna, gonna really push toward into this too much. Go up, Charles. He's gonna be able to go out Pavu's by himself now. Now no one's by themselves. A nice little win by Epix. They even up the round count once again. It might have been might have been useful when they picked up that that AK to just kind of save those save mm -hmm. those two weapons going into the next round. Um, you know the amount of time that they had for setting up the post plant is going to be a little dangerous getting into right. that spot. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of uh, anyone really trying to save in the in this game so far. Everyone's trying to pull out the clutches. We haven't seen one giant clutch yet, but uh, yeah, no, no no holding back for these teams so far. As Pego so heads into the secret room. Do, do we pull the uh, do we pull the line of you can't clutch around if you don't try? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> clutch or kick, am I right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, a little more conservative round now from both teams here. Charles is gonna see Pablo over the corner, take them off. We'll pick up that one there, see if what Epix is gonna do now with the man advantage. Then we get the bomb ahead towards B. It looks like McCoy's gonna McCoy's probably gonna be here just a little bit longer, and make some noise shortly to try and delay the rotation. Um, here it is. Yep. Smoke. Try to get the kill. Bring some people over here. He's gonna also throw out a bit more utility over there. Meanwhile, Chad just pick up the kill on the other side. And Holly tries to sneak out there and get him out, but McCoy's gonna take him out by himself. Pierre's gonna go down now. Pablo's gonna go down. Clean round for Epics. There hasn't been a lot of clean rounds in this one. In fact, this might be the first time no one's died on a team. Uh, it might be. Them, yeah, it's very close. So Apex picks up a giant round there on that one. Well, we'll see right now what the back this party's going to do. So pick up some rifles here. Up over in Pierre's hands. Bombs currently over towards B. Bit of a split push going on here. 
Got that bar over the Good Legends turn. <laughs> Coin waiting. Looks like Pablo's Pablo's jump peeking over in over over B. Just gonna try and hold hold as much as he can. Pablo pick up one, picking up two, both on headshots. Nice job by Pablo to pick up the first two kills of this round. And we'll see some fast rotates now that Pablo's taking out those and they have no one else there, so they're gonna move. Pablo's gonna pick up one more kill there. He continues there at the top of the chest. He's gonna be able to get it out. Oh, not quite taken out. He's down to four health. Going down is Theta as Patty's going to pick up that one there. Chebs, the last one standing with that four health. He's going to be taken down, and it'll be a nice little diffuse here. And every every moment it feels like, oh, one team's going to pick up some momentum. It just answers right back, yeah. and we're back to tie. Insane round so far. And, was, and it was smart, smart push by Pabu there through that smoke or you know up to the top and try and get that... Uh, uh, try, try and get some knowledge. Picks up two kills. Now they know where they are, and the other, you know, the the other people on Epic had to push at that point, or they were just gonna get boxed in. So there you go. Wee. Nice go. Nice one. Nikolai's gonna be able to pick up a kill with the off, however, during that time. Moving on over here. Don't you love this gray screen? Yeah. It is well, crazy. Apologies there. The director's having a little bit of <laughs> yeah, difficulty. Yeah, a little technical difficulty kind of going on there over here. Go. There we go. There we go. We're on to a person here. We have the word of our directors that we will never follow a grenade again. So, <laughs> sorry, guys. All right, here we go. Data now for the over the side. The corner is Abu, who is going to be taken out. That one there. Three members left of the Vega party. As Epics are now pushing in hard onto the day side as the rest of the team tries to rotate over here, see if they can pull off the retake. They just have one right now, Chad's doing some damage over on the other side. Column climbing now, let's see what Pablo, Holly, and Patty are going to be able to pull off here. Trying to pull damage onto Chad. And it actually looks like they're going to save. Yeah, that might be the first time. First time people decide to actually save in this game. You know what? Might be worth it. <laughs> yeah, but the amount the amount of uh, equipment they have on their side right now, mm -hmm. you know, pushing and, and trying to trying to hit a retake. Um, again, you know, three v five, probably not going to happen. Yeah, odds are not in your favor. I liked how bold everyone's been so far, but this time the party will be like, you know what? Let's let's fight another day. Let's actually take some equipment into the next round. Mm -hmm. Take a look. You know, they could actually buy up around this a little bit um, and, and still have a decent amount of coin. So, mm -hmm. um, so it's a matter of what, do you, what is your utility going to look like. It looks like they do have a fair amount of utility, a little bit less than I'd like, but obviously, you know, with being limited on the loss. Oh, beauty shot by Pablo. Actually, no, it wasn't the shot. It was... Uh... It was actually a great use of his utility. Yeah. Oh, drop the, drop the thing and kill somebody in it. Didn't let him run through. Now here's the thought: Do you run forward and grab that AK on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fortune favors the bold. See if he ends up going to do it, but he's not so far. Opting to play a little more conservatively to run this round. They have had a lot more, uh, you know, rewarding experiences um, at the B site here. So it looks like they're they're going to push through. Um, and it looks like they're going to smoke for Van. Mm -hmm. Waiting. Timing for a minute. Smart, smart. Go to the to get that one, but a nice little wall bag where Pablo's gonna take that one off here. Patty's gonna be able to get another kill. Patty's gonna pick up two kills. In fact, only McCoy left. And the Pega party holding it down. That looks like McCoy's probably gonna hold there. Uh, he, he doesn't want to throw this off away if he can avoid it. Mm -hmm. he, he will probably just try and save, but I don't know if they're gonna let it. Actually, looking to hunt him down. Peg party rewarded for saving in that last round themselves. Don't want to get that same reward necessarily in play. I'd actually like to see Eri here. I was about to say, I was about to really like to see him upgrade that weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Did help get that other kill with, in combination with Incendiary as well earlier, but 
Yeah, definitely will take that AK every time. Yeah, it's always scary, you know, trying to hunt after someone. Especially when your money isn't isn't exactly where you'd like it to be. Mm -hmm. um, the chance you the chance you drop that weapon might not might not be the greatest. Yeah, we have a little bit of a pause here. Yeah, teams of attack pause uh, attack pause by Epics are going to try and figure out what they want to do, um, and they did have enough money to purchase up again, so um, it is, uh, and they have a decent amount of utility too. So mm -hmm. it's it's uh, you know full rounds on either side, so. Here's a, probably talking about what their strat's going to be. Yeah. If they're going to execute or if they want to rush somewhere. Um, I'd actually like to see them execute. They have been working mm -hmm. pretty well together. So yeah. I think if they actually did a well-timed site execute, they probably would be able to get that bomb down and hold it fairly well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my attitude is it's an 11-11 game. Like, I wouldn't change too much. I yeah. just hope that you're just going to be that slight bit better Yeah. Um, that you need to be able to take the map. Because uh, if you change too much, you might just change to a strategy that just doesn't work. At all, yeah. and then they'll, you'll always blame that, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but everything's been going on pretty well for both teams, and yeah, 11 11 going into round 23. Like, yeah. they'll take that any days, especially in LAN right now. It just leads to a lot of excitement. It's just like clutch time now. Yeah, it is. I gotta get that in there. And, um, you know, most their team kills are spread out fairly well uh, amongst, uh, amongst the teams here. Mm -hmm. um, Epics is, is pretty balanced uh, across the board. Um, Patty's fallen a little bit behind, but overall, um, you know, everybody's doing well. It's Pablo and Charles are just kind of going off 21 kills each, mm -hmm. uh, leading the server tied right now. But I think uh, Charles would have an advance. He only has 15 deaths. Yep. So here we go. Teams of Unpause are running into it now. We're seeing Epics make their way over towards the B site. Or just make their way up the middle. See if they can get a pick. There we go. Just trying to move into here. Pierce can see one target. Be able to take him out. The second one takes that one out as well. Can he get a third? Be able to pick up. Pablo's going to actually get the next kill over on that one. So, we're left. Koi and Charles now here for Epics. They might opt to save again. They can just try to get out of here in the situation. But they're being put to death here. So fine. Oh, never mind. McCoy actually. He's going to be able to pick up that kill, so nice job with there. Picks up another one. Oh, suddenly it's a situation where you're not just hiding. McCoy picks up two big kills. Good little little sneak peek around the corner by McCoy. Just get get the shot, get the view of the leg so he knows he's there. Mm -hmm. But that first little blind shot was, uh, was the key to that one right there. Certainly pretty. And a situation that looked like Pepego was just going to go hunt them down. Now they're all of a sudden like, oh, okay, let's just go back to defense mode. <laughs> Make sure that they don't get a little touch by far on. Let's jump to this window. So now, going all the way around, they're going to make their way over towards the B site. Two members of Pepego party are there. Looks like Charles runs right into the patty right here. going to pick up that kill cleanly. Suddenly, we're in a 2v2 when it looked like it was all Pega Party. Being taken out there is Charles, though. So McCoy is the last one standing there with the... Uh, down, to, down, to, down to six. Trying to see you get a kill there. Nope, decides... No I'm time. Gonna mm. Take my ball and run home. <laughs> I'm going to take my toy. My toy. <laughs> you can't have my toy. Really, really interesting round there. It, was, it looked like it was just going to be a heavily favorite Pega Party, but they really brought it back and picked up a bunch of kills. Yeah. Over yeah, and I, I think that might have been might have just been a um, bad choice of rotation from um, from McCoy going mm -hmm. all the way all the way back through apartments as opposed to uh, uh, as opposed to maybe just going underpass because he did go all the way mm -hmm. around from middle and that's uh, a little bit too much a little bit too much time I think. But again, just the, the hero op and a little bit of utility for <laughs> McCoy and um, see how this works here. Paul's picking up a couple kills there. Hold anybody up from apartments, and now looks like they are going to maybe. Well, it's not like they can. Not like they can use any utility, really. Jeb's sitting there taking some damage. And McCoy's now might might. Well, I was going to say he's a little trapped up up at top mid, but picks up that kill. Oh, get yourself out of the trap. Oh, Jeb taking tons of damage over there. Now yeah, choosing to run back. Four members of the bigger party here to defend. Cheb down real low for Epics. 
How does he know, though? Nope. Just trying to pick someone else here. The figure just holding their spots. They know that they know they gotta come to him. They have they had the they know they have the weapon advantage. May as well just take. It. Oh, Polly picks up kill. Pavu on the other end does as well, and Pavu picks up another. Nice win for Pega Party. Only a couple round wins here to take this match. Remember, no team. I think at one point Epic had a three round lead, but like. It's really, really been close all the way through. Yeah, so that, that these two rounds, of, even if they keep trading it from here on out, they can, they, they can easily win this matchup. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just a matter of kind of holding it down and getting one more round. And take, take this one round at a time. Mm -hmm. um, try not to get too much into it. Yeah, Epix definitely has the ability to run it right back. Their team's all sitting with AK, seeing if they can make their way over towards this B site. Light walking off the middle. To get these some of the grenades. Some gears going down. Last one there. Blake's gonna pick up the opening frag. Charles gonna see where on the other side. Gonna see Patty does pull that one off. Three members left of the Vega party here. Like I said, he's got everything they can do. Makes it up. McCoy pick up another kill on this one right here. Charles gonna pick up that one there. Pierre, the last man standing for the Vega party. <laughs> Again. When momentum seems to be going one way, it just swings straight back to the other side. Let's see what Beta's gonna be able to do over here. Trying to find some shot target. Pierre is gonna be able to pick up one. Right now. Plant this bomb. Not likely that Pierre wants to push up into this though. No, I think he's probably just gonna see if he can catch somebody crossing um, away uh, before he goes. But he is, looks like he's he's really peaking. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, big dog. Oh, big dog. Okay, that one. Maybe he's going to try to cut the up. Did get the one kill. Doesn't need two more, but that bomb's about to take off here. Perhaps shouldn't have gone for it, but yeah, he got the one kill. We do have the money. You know, Pablo has the money to, to purchase up a couple of weapons here. Mm -hmm. so they, they, they are okay. He can buy, he could even buy an op and, uh, and, and a rifle, so... Um, they will have, still have a full, a full buy. Mm -hmm. um, four augs. Love that aug meta. Yeah, I actually honestly do. <laughs> yeah, I, I have, I have, I've loved the aug for mm -hmm. a very long time. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of like the fact that people said that it needs to be changed, and they, they said it needs to be changed back, and then Valve said, but. We didn't change it. We just made it cheaper. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually always been it's good. Always, it's always been good. You just, you just, you just always focus on the fact that it was two hundred dollars more, three hundred dollars more expensive, so you didn't buy it. Yeah. <laughs> so over the site. Bunch of kills going uh, both ways, but it'll be a three v three now in the end as two go down on each side. Paolo's gonna be able to get some damage onto that grenade. Flash going on over here by Theta. He's gonna pick that bomb down and see if the retake happens. Pablo's going on over here. No. Light's gonna be able to pick up one and kill. Two members left to take a party. Never mind, he's got one member left. Patty, the last one standing. He's gonna be able to pick up another kill for himself, though. He's gonna 1v2. He's gonna try to get that one down, but it's not gonna happen. Epix ties this round, or this map, once again. And we are very close on money here, so this is going to be another deagle, another deagle buy because they don't want to be, you know, handing, handing rounds over here. So mm -hmm. they won't. They'll probably buy into deagles because you know, they've been doing so well on those pistol purchases. No. Looks like just Pablo. Yeah, just Pablo. Pablo. Purchasing some upgraded weapons, full AKs across the board, and looks like we even have just a straight rush. So we're just going to do this. Just we're gonna establish dominance. <laughs> so we're gonna start each other here. My boy's gonna go to the third round. Picks up two, gets with three. Blake's gonna answer him himself. He just picks up two more, and that's a clean round win for Epix. All right, here's the real round, though. A little bit of saving going on by Vega Party. Now, gigantic round coming up. And everybody's super broke. So at this point, you can almost say that you, they, this is a winner. This is a winner die game. This is a winner die round for the Pega Party. Um, if they don't win this round, they're not going to have enough money to, to really buy anything next round. Mm -hmm. um, and 
So you, you want to be careful with how you play this. You don't want to be too aggressive, but you also don't want to let them run you over. So. Mm -hmm. I should try to run through here. I guess now. Try and see if someone does play a little too aggressively, like taking a little bit of damage. You have yourself over there. Bad, oh, bad nade oh, by, oh, no. by Patty. Oh no. To the war that you're going to get some time to over here and take it. Probably play it the site. Just go down and grenade through the smoke. Try to get some damage there. He does. Nice little grenade. Coil out to the other side. There he is. Oh, not able to get the plan off here. He's able to stop that one. Chance he's able to kill the other side. He's here. He's able to get another kill here. He's got two so far in the round. Get a third. Does get that third blight. Does pick up the kill over the other side. Two members left of Epix. Three members left of Pega Party. Again, gigantic round here. So Epix does lead 14 to 13. Pavu's gonna pick up a kill over on the other side, and Bite is gonna go down as well. Pierre with a nice little round. He's able to pick up tons of kills, and now 14 14. And that, that misplaced smoke. Yeah. Right? It was, it was like a little bit too far, and you had that yeah. little edge, and that's all it was. And ran across, thinking, oh, I'm just gonna be able to plant this with smoke covering me. Nope, I can see your feet, which means I know where your face is. <laughs> Here we go now. This epic battle between two teams, no pun intended. <laughs> Moving in over here. 14, 14, 14. Nice kill to open up the round. That's Charles gets the win crack. Chef now though is gonna go down to Pablo. McCoy does pick up kill over the other side though. Cue this Patty goes down as well. Two members left for Pega Party, one member left Polly. All by himself here. They're all gonna dream. Take that one out, Blight. Taking some Charles though. He's gonna clean that one up. 15 14 now in favor of Epics. No money. No money. But Swag 7, let's do this. You got to. Do or die situation here now for Pega Party. And I would actually expect some uh, some aggression into apartments from either Pablo or Pablo uh, here. Here we go. Party. Running up the map, they're able to get into mid a little faster there. Epics just hanging out by spawn. Go over here, Blight picks up the first kill of the round. And now they know, they, now they know that they are poor. <laughs> Jumping in over there, Pavu is trying to hold them off. Oh, with that gun there, Charles is going to one kill, McCoy is going to be able to pick up another. Patty's going to take a bunch of damage, as the rest of Epix are now moving into this A site. Plant off. Again, two die types of Pega Party, too, that Patty's going to take down. Charles and Chad pick up two kills, Pablo, all you. All you, my dude. Oh, oh, that's not how you want to start that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's throw down incendiary. Rushing like a madman. Rampage does not end up having epics. Wins the round. They're able to take that map. 16.